today we are going to discuss um, how to share monthly data to CACs. I am talking about the commercial data. So what is commercial data? Suppose you have given loan to a company or a firm, that data will come under commercial data. So for the data structure, they have given the uh, details. Uh, the segments are HD, for, I mean header details, borrower, the borrower address details, relationship details, credit facility, guarantee details, security, disorder of checks, and the fire closure. And let us discuss it detail. So we have created an Excel because most of the companies have their own software. So if they download data in an Excel, they can simply generate the notepad. So in this Excel, there are two segments. One is the parameter segment where you have to mention the uh, CAC name and the uh, ID. So here you can, uh, that means don't change these portions. You just uh, uh, type the details here only. Okay. So uh, currently what happening, uh, TransUnion Sibyl is developed the uh, system, Rust, Crif and Equifax experience, they are just accepting whatever the um, TransUnion Sibyl um, accepted the data like that. So first you uh, test the data with the TransUnion Sibyl, the same data if they accepted, you upload the data for TransUnion, the same data even without changing the member, mem member ID, directly you can share to Crif, Equifax and uh, experience this is the information we received recently later in the later state they are telling like you know they have required their own member id then you have to suppose you are uh, sharing data to CRIF, then you have to select here to CRIF. right now civil data will be accepted by all these three companies so you should keep it as civil only okay this is the parameter sheet details now come to the input data. So basically the first segment is borrower segment. Okay, so uh, up to this field, up to I mean the fifth row, I had given the details of uh, uh, is it required deep field or what is the maximum size of that field and if it's required or not required, is it a compulsory, those thing, things I have mentioned here. From sixth row onwards, you can type your data. I mean, you delete it and start your own data. Otherwise, uh, keep this as two as an example. You start a data from here. After filling everything, you delete all these two records. Everything will find. Just a second, because I to macro in this field so if I delete something happened here in case you delete no uh, it it may hang for two three uh, I mean one minute because the macro is working behind it that is why uh, otherwise you just del delete this uh, by selecting just to delete the button then there won't be an issue and you just type the data Okay, so let us start from the tag. This is the borrower segment. First field should be the BS. Okay. Uh, after that, the member branch code. From which branch you have shared the data. The maximum field size is 15. This is the previous branch code. Like, you know, if uh, it's a renewed loan and it has given from any other branch, those data you can type it here. It is mentioned as when available, so it is not a compulsory field. The another is the borrower name. If it's a firm, you type that. If it's a company, you type that. And if you know the date of incorporation, you can write. Otherwise, keep it as blank. The, the PAN, SIN, service tax. So this is the required field. What is the borrower legal constitution? The maximum tax size is 2. So this is a code only. So if you know 
it's a msme sme micro the uh, right you can write the code here otherwise keep it as 07 as are this business industry type if you know you can uh, mention the uh, code here otherwise keep it as 11 so this is the part for the borrower segment after borrower segment it will come the address segment address segment in the sense address of that company or the firm we will be starting with the nis it's a tag control v yeah and this is the borrower location or office location type i mentioned the 01 as a registered office and this is an important thing like you know borrower office dus number if you know the dus ns number you can type it otherwise just keep it as this one two three four five six nine times nine over there this is the address segment 200 uh, up to 200 uh, field will be as required this is the city district state code is uh, like you know you have to mention the code because this field size only two right this is a pin code country code for india it's a 079 it's a mobile number etc etc so this is the address segment after the address segment it's a relationship segment so it's for the company if the director details should type here or with fm the partner uh, proprietary details uh, partnership firm partner details will write here profession proper details will write here so this is the uh, name, gender, uh, this is the gender code, date of, uh, what is this? This is the date of incorporation case. This is the date of incorporation in case of the relation segment is like, you know, I have mentioned here. If not this one. If, uh, uh, can you see the details? If uh, this is a subsidiary company you can mention as 12 I have mentioned 2 I have mentioned no this one this code yeah this yeah if this is a business entity you can type 3 business entity registered outside India for uh, business entity you can type it as 1 otherwise if it's a resident Indian individual you can type it as 2 so if it's you type one and here you come and check it uh, the then it should be a if you selected the company over there then it should be a holding company subsidiary company like that then here what we read the date of incorporation should come here otherwise i have mentioned two that means it's an individual right resident individual so there should be mr and date of birth all these things will come here pan pan address mobile number etc this is a relationship segment one if there are two people then it will you have to mention the second party details in relationship segment two can you see relationship segment two okay if there are two directors you should mention it uh, those details uh, you remember then if you are providing the data in rs2 then you should type here rs otherwise just keep it as blank okay rest i am not discussing this one is compulsory triple nine that duns number if it's blank keep all the data as blank after relationships relationship segment i have given one more three relationship segment here if you have the data you can type it otherwise keep it as blank so after relationships relationship segment there's a credit facility segment let us discuss it detailly so it should be start with the cr this is the loan account number in previous account number that means it's the renewed one You can mention that this is the loan activation sanction date okay loan date this is the loan amount and sanction amount currency in INR credit type 9002 those codes I am uh, adding those uh, excel file sorry that PDF file in the description 
in the bottom you you will get all the data here parent details and everything just a second uh, i have mentioned 9002 that means this is the codes of all the details 9002 yeah 9002 in the sense what it's a pro uh, property loan that's why 9002 those way you can type it this is the tenor of loan if it's one year you can mention this 12 month if it's a repayment frequency if it's monthly you can type it 01 drawing power in the sense we have given a loan of 25 lakh and what is the maximum drawing power they have according to our calculation like four year or whatever so you can mention it as 50 i mentioned just 50 here 10 lakh i mentioned 25 current uh, what is this current balance okay current balance of that loan uh, this is taken on may only so i mentioned the entire amount if it's um, march some amount paid so this become 9 what is this uh, when available leave it as when now when available loan expiry date loan renewal date if it's renewed loan then you mentioned that asset classification is important if it's a standard asset you should mention 0001 like that asset classification asset classification date should be the first effective date when the account moved to other than standard when it is become substandard substandard that date you should mention here on from which date onwards otherwise if it's already standard keep it as blank amount overdue if it's overdue you write the write the amount here otherwise keep it as zero the field is compulsory okay after that overdue this is the bucket details you should mention otherwise blank credit uh, high credit amount no with high credit amount we can write this uh, loan amount over there installment amount how much is the emi amount last repayment amount how much we have received the last amount of money account status if it's open you write 01 if you type 1 and uh, if you type 01 and if it become one it will be rejected so it should be you should select this the field as text and type 01 then it will be saved as 01 account uh, what is this account status date if it's open you should uh, keep it as 01 yeah account uh, you see the effective from okay account status date that means on which date you, you are you have taken the data of course it should be 31st may only so i mentioned that if it's return of those data you should mention here after that after that asset uh, asset based security yeah if it's fully coverage right 01 otherwise 02 uh, if it's guarantee if the ga ga asset what is it guarantee coverage if the guarantee is covered it full you can write it as full if it's partial if it's no guarantees you can type it as uh, 02 only because partial no th there are two guarantees so both have the same uh, what we called uh, coverage bank remark code if it's if any bank remark code is there you can mention that it's a 100 letter is available if it's willful default you can write this one otherwise no willful default as zero it's a compulsory field date on which member classified the account as being willful default that date you should mention if it's there suit filed no suit filed is 00 suit filed is 01 you should mention that like way up to this if it's suit filed you should mention the suit number and everything otherwise keep it as blank after that it's a guarantor segment what is guarantor segment one whoever the guarantor that data you should mention this uh, duns number you should mention it as uh, trip, uh, nine times nine otherwise you should write the proper number If one segment uh, one guarantor is there you should mention that if two guarantors are there you should mention that after that if 
the third character is there you should mention otherwise if it's not not there you should keep it as blank then there should not be any gs here if the data is there you should mention the first tag as gs okay this is the guarantor segment after that there is a uh, security segment what is in the security segment it's a compulsory thing start, starting from ss value of security for 25 lakh how much is the value of the security you have assessed for 25 i return 1 crore 50 lakh the currency type inr type of security in this case uh, i mentioned 007 because it's a land security first charge second charge whatever you can mention it there date of valuation if you know the date you can mention it there because it's when available field uh, up to this so secure segment is over after that dishonor of check segment if that loan is standard this should be blank right there should not be any st here but uh, like an example i am putting if you deposit a check which is to sonnet then starting with the cd date of date of dishonor amount of check check number a number of times dishonored check date and the reason for dishonor there is only one reason they have provided that is uh, inception fund zero one this way you can mention in this case we have given two records right you can go up to uh, a number of records not an issue after filling these details what you have to do is that you should run the macro uh, give macro macros run so how much records we are doing now two so once you provide two there is a notepad will be generated let us see The notepad is generated over here. Over here, let us see what the data is there. So, what you have to do once you get the data? No, you just go through the last, uh, just click on after the TS segment and just delete because there's a uh, additional space coming over there which I have to rectify. Okay, then we will check it as after this thing because in the first case there are. Uh, 2RS, 2GS, and a CD also there after SS. In the second case, there are 3GS and there is no ST, CD. Okay, this way we can generate the data. In case you require the utility, you can uh, write to should be bg at the rate gmail.com or whatsapp me 944-687-3239